Greetings everyone. Today is March 4th, 2020. And instead of filming this my usual way, I've decided to just do it handheld because this is a huge box. And you can actually see my little camera arm wouldn't be tall enough to show everything. So this, I think, is the biggest order I have placed with Virgin Water Gardens. I think it's all Nepenthes, if I remember correctly. Love Virgin Water Gardens, so I'm very excited. Let's check out what all we got. I remember some of it, and some of it I don't remember. So we'll find out. Okay, that's what the package looks like so far. Look at all these pots! This is so exciting! And there's that neat bubble wrap again that I've only seen from them. Okay, I think I'll get these out and then unpot them because some of them are double potted for protection. Always well packaged. Okay, so here's the order. I ordered six things. One is a fly trap and I think that's the fly trap. And all the rest of these are Nepenthes, so let me unbag them and get them out and we'll check them out. Okay, here they are. Some really beautiful stuff. Let's start with the fly trap. We got a Akai Ryu, and this is supposed to be an all red variety. It probably lost its color because it's been in the dark. Once I get it out in full sun, I think it'll color up. I'm be happy to see one that's all solid red. That'll be neat. That one's pretty with its two tones right there. Alright, this is Nepenthes Mariliana. It's lost its uh, lid, but that's okay. It'll grow back. This is a lowlander, and I think it'll do very well here in my conditions. Wow, nice plant. Next, we've got Nepenthes Tamoriana, another lowlander. This is one is supposed to make brown pitchers, so that'll be cool to see that one grow up. And though I like these pots, I'll probably be repotting into square pots just so that everything fits better. I can use these for something else. Okay, this one's a little roughed up. A lot of the pitchers came mushed. That's okay, this is supposed to be a fast-growing hybrid called St. Gaia. It's uh, Cassiana cross Ventricosa cross Maxima. And Ventricosa cross Maxima is uh, known as Red Leopard, so it's actually Ca Cassiana cross Red Leopard, and it's supposed to get these beautiful dots that do look like uh, leopard dots, green dots against a red body. I hope mine will do that. This one seems to be coloring up red already. Now this is one I have been very excited about. This is Rami Spina cross Rainwar Tiana. And well, I'm not really a, a fan of too many hybrids. I prefer to get species because I'd love to get a male and female of my favorite species to propagate. But Rainwar Tiana, I mean... But Rami Spina is very, very hard to find. I haven't had any luck finding one at a decent price. So this is the next best thing until then. Hopefully I'll be able to get a hold of one. One reason I love Rami Spina so much, if I ever got one that makes a black pitcher, it looks like scary fear. In fact, that is the pitcher that he's holding holding in the intro card of my plant updates and reviews. <laughs> and then lastly, we have another hybrid, Cebuianensis cross Mariliana. And on uh, Bird and Water Garden's website, these things get huge. So I am looking forward to hopefully these guys uh, doing quite well. So here are the Nepenthes that I got from Bird and Water Gardens. Some of these I've gotten on previous occasions. It's been a few days since the unboxing. Here's uh, Tamoriana and Remy Spina cross Rainwardiana, Sibuianensis cross Mariliana, St. Gaia. Some of these are looking a little rough from the trip. And they're also, they're really young plants. These guys will 
color up and pitch her up. I'd say within the year they're going to look a lot better. Um, I put the fly trap outside and it's already colored up in full sun, so I'll show you guys that. Alright, so here's the red fly trap. It's some of the pictures have died on it, but it's got a new one coming in. You see that one that's more green right there? So I think it's going to do well. I'm hoping to make a whole new uh, bog pot. Not a bog garden, nothing this big, but use a pot this time so it's a little more portable and just put different kinds of fly traps and see how that works out. Alright, so that is the unboxing. I might be placing an or another order here very soon with Virgin Water Gardens as I've always been very happy with all their plants. Alright, hope you guys like that. Des signing off.